congratulations on this film. Thank nice. you. Thank you. Willem, I'll start with you. We're coming okay. off the success of Poor Things. Yes. We're here in a new film, reuniting with Yargos and Emma and Margaret. How does that feel? Fantastic. I mean, uh, I had a good time on Poor Things. Go figure. He, uh, Yorgos always gives us fun things to do. Uh, yeah, it, uh, you know, when they ask me to do it, it's almost like I don't have to read a script. Because often the company you keep and the director is so very uh, important to me. It almost is more important than the script or the character. I think about the people that you're working with sometimes first. Speaking of the script, what were those first reactions reading it? Jesse, I read you had a little bit of a reaction to one of those scripts. Yeah, I mean, I was pretty confounded. <laughs> and um, at the same time, you know, I, I really love films, any art that can deal in the absurd and the surreal, but I'm not as interested in, in you know, weird for weird sake. And this felt like something that, to me, my, my response reading it was highly emotional. It made me feel a, a range of various emotions. But because of the nature of it, you don't have these sort of story, uh, narrative structure elements to hang on to. So you're just kind of like adrift with all these feelings, which makes for a pretty uh, unique experience, you know. Think of Boone well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The dynamic between the both of you in that first act was very fascinating to watch, the comedic undertones. It was really great. I'd love to know a little bit about what that was like filming together. And also, Jesse, have you ever felt a little bit too out of control? Has there been a situation that maybe you could relate to your character? Certainly, we all have felt out of control <laughs> at one point or another. We're human. Um, yeah. Uh, what, so what, what was it like? I mean, it was so much fun getting to work with this guy. No, it was fun. And uh, the writing's so good. And, of course, the sweet thing that you always do, or, or you often do uh, when you're working on something, it's the relationship is quite brutal. But to find the shadow side of that and also to get invested in the sentimental aspect between them. That is, there's something really delic delicious and, uh, and uh, perverse about it. Uh, that, that's fun to do, to always kind of flip things and, uh, you know, when you're being brutal with him, try to uh, do it with love, you know. <laughs> and then we end with that uh, intense cuddle session, you know. Which, which is, I, I forget about that. How could I forget? Uh, that wow, was, uh, forgot and you only that. saw so much. Um, <laughs> I, this was uh, one of the uh, really fun things. And occasionally you do things, and it's horrible to say, but I'm making a huge uh, admission here. Sometimes you do something and you say, wow. That's cool. I can't wait to see this in the movie. Doesn't happen very much, but that was a scene where I felt like that. When uh, Margaret's playing on the piano and we're cuddling on the uh, sofa, I thought, wow, this, this has something coming off of it. A very emotional cuddle sesh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sweet the dreams. Cuddle sessions are important. Cuddle sessions cinema. are important. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Dreams was a central song, and also in the first act, we heard it a lot. Is that on your playlist? Boy, I've never, I've never loved that song so they, much. They played, the, they, they played the hell out of it the summer it came out. I remember that. That was this, that was the song of the summer. Was it? When you think about the lyrics, it's very uh, apropos yeah, for the, uh, for the film. Do you have any other songs on your playlist you can share? Any summer songs that you've been listening to? Recently, you know, my, uh, my six-year-old son's. One of his favorite songs, aside from Country Road by John Denver, which I've listened to <laughs> way too many times. He loves uh, Dancing in the Moonlight, which mm. is a pretty good summer yeah, song. Not bad. I know. Not bad. As far as kids, kids, you know, taste, that's pretty good. Very good. Looking also at the cult, the cult act, or act three, what was that like filming? And do you like true crime? Are you true crime fans at all? I don't think about true crime fans, but I do think about cult fans, like uh, me, like a, a, a lot of people. 
really enjoy it. Uh, Jesse turned me on to this uh, documentary, Holy Hell, <laughs> which was quite great. And I also was a great fan of, um, uh, what's the one about uh, Rajneesh, about the uh, oh, yeah. show? Uh, uh, wild, Wild, wild Country. Country. It's, it's interesting, uh, not just for the, for the perverse aspects, but, you know, it's real revealing about the nature of uh, humans needing to belong and uh, how they deal with identity and submission. Sound familiar? The fact that it's always the same story a is what's bit, interesting. Enough You're, people gather around one per person with the answer. I mean, it, it always ends exactly the same. You <laughs> know? Usually does. There was that fascinating TikTok cult documentary that just came out, so I don't know if oh, you've yeah. I've seen that. I don't know. You should Damn. watch it. You should watch it. It's really okay. good. And finally, you know, last question. Jesse, we've heard a little bit about these Matt Damon lookalike comparisons. I have to say, watching it, I did kind of see it. Anything you'd care to share about those? I mean, they're, they're you know, that's not, not a bad person to be compared to. I definitely find it flattering. It's hard for me to uh, to to see or think too much about other than the nick nicknames that people have uh, given me over time, but no, I'm not looking at myself thinking, eh, like Matt Damon. <laughs> 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 Any lookalike comparisons you ever heard about you? Um, sure, sure, I've heard, um, but they're wacky. They're wacky. <laughs> Who do you get mistaken There's, for ever? I've you heard. Can't mistake, uh, you know. I've heard uh, Mikhail Baryshnikov. I've heard David Bowie. I've heard Mick Jagger and uh, all, uh, Dennis Leary. Mick and Jagger, now I, <laughs> that, that's the one out of those. Yeah, you guys can play uh, brothers or yeah, something. Yeah, no, always, and it's always, it's always, uh, well, no, it's, uh, yeah. That's the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I always want to say, but he's 20 years older than me. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.